In this video, I'm going to show you a remarkable technique that some people call projection mapping. I prefer to call this implementation of it projection shaping. So imagine this, you've got 10, 20 video clips, you've got one projector, one computer, but you have, let's say, between 10 and 20 screen surfaces that you want to project the 20 videos on but you've only got the one projector. So the question is, how do you do that? And yes, it is possible. And that's what I want to show you in this video of how to do projection shaping of content onto boxes, round surfaces, tubes, whatever the shape and surface might be. Could be the size of your hand right up to the size of a building. And so here what we've got set up are a number of boxes and you can see here that there are white areas and red areas labeled S5, F7, F1, S6. So those represent the target segments that we're able to shape into the box. And so at the moment you can see here we're just uh, fitting out S2 to shape to the board that happens to be sitting on the ground and you've got four corner anchor points and just simply a matter of moving those precisely uh, into the area. You can see on S7 I uh, had a whole lot and that allowed a whole lot of anchor points so what that allows us to do is actually wrap the video around curved surfaces and on S6 here you can see that it's a um, uh, flowing curved shape with uh, bezel points and so what we're able to do is to shape that into uh, regular shapes as well and uh, we're just going to move that out of the way but it gives you an idea that um, you could have a video playing within that window shape so now moving across to another area you can see here on S9 uh, is another segment so we would be allocating a video to S9 and um, you can see when you click on part of it, it uh, helps you identify where the corner is. And you can just see it jumped in there when I click the mouse. So uh, that's all now set on S9. And now we're going to do S11. And uh, we can just move the whole uh, box and uh, target area. And we're going to place that on the small box lying on the ground. But um, you can see here how you can actually have multiple segments layered on each other and typically you would only use the one and so now we are dragging up the right hand corner for S8 and we can drag it out to the shape uh, that we're going to uh, map onto and this is just the end of a, a cardboard box. Uh, typically you would uh, obviously have the surface well prepared and ideally a highly reflective surface and matte white is a, a good use of that and certainly in a darkened environment it's, it's pretty perfect gives you nice even uh, colouring so here we're now stretching at S10 now you might wonder where and how and why would I actually use this uh, technology and technique for displaying co uh, content so perfect uh, for concerts DJ performances um, ideal for museum scenarios uh, even for retail but just bear in mind that you need to have it darkened and so now what you can see is we've got multiple different videos playing all playing independently of each other in sequence at the same time on various shaped boxes right down from very small uh, to, to larger so we're just showing you the really diverse potential here I'm going right down zooming in to this uh, very small box here and uh, you can see the Andrew sisters there dancing on the end of the box and um, Christina there on the top of the box and so you can start to imagine how you can take some maybe plain Jane content and actually put it into a pretty dynamic environment. 